Hello, I am Ice Beast, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. So on the last episode, Sweden pulled us into a war that we won, um, and we gained a ton of territory out of it. Basically, all of this was gained out of this war. Now, unfortunately, this has put our overextension really high, which put our looming disaster really high. Um, and, of course, our rebel uprising is really high. The Badenese nationalists are from St. Galan, where we have 31,000 men, so I'm just going to let them trigger. Um, I want my best guy leading him, though. So we're going to do that. We're just going to let the rebellion trigger. Uh, one of my advisors just died, unfortunately. Um, this guy, and I have no... I don't have no plus one guy, so we're getting, another, we're getting a plus two guy, apparently. We can afford it, so we're doing it. We're also building a bunch of boats. And uh, otherwise, surviving. You should be up here on your way up there. Okay, cool. We have Kord Waldstadt and St. Galan. That's fantastic. Let's, um, let's send mercenaries to deal with them. I mean mercenaries, missionaries to deal with them. Wow, we're doing good. Third in everything. Ledger, country, score comparison, score. Oh, it was already sorted by score. We are gaining the third most score. England is gaining more score than we are because of their diplomatic rank. Um, so they will pass us not that long from now, but we will, are starting to catch up to the front runners, which is good as well. We are, we're going to be in the running for being a front runner. That is good. The Ottomans are many military techs behind us. And we have enough. Okay, so there's the revolt that we were waiting for. Then the Rhinelander Patriots, they are going to rise up in Waldstate and Graben something or another. Where's Graben? It's over here. All right, so let's get an army ready to take care of them. No reason not to let these guys just rise up. Especially as we start to slowly but surely get our overextension taken care of. What is my overextension at? 104%. Um, manage, of course. 56% is being caused immediately by Munchen, which I'd love to core, but it's cost me 518 military power, and I have a mis missionary working here. He's going to be done in two years, which is probably about how long it's going to take me to have the admin points to actually take care of this. So now we're ready for the revolt in Waldstate. We got it. The native uprising here, which I want to crush. That's what I wanted to do. Now you can come back down this way. Of course, we're going to decline that. Um, can I remove some of these people? Are any of you guys still in the Roman Holy Roman Empire? I cannot remove it while I have a truce with the Holy Roman Emperor. Okay, that's a bunch of bullshit, but whatever. Who's next on the uprising? Protestant Zealots. Protestant Zealots are going to rise up in Munchen. I have an army in Munchen. I'm moving this army back to Munchen to, um, so that they'll, they'll be there. Looming Disaster, we're at 8%. These cores should be constructed by then. I'm going to have 50,000 men here that should crush whatever rebellion rises up in uh, Munchen. We are losing money. For the first time in a long time, we are losing money. But otherwise, we're doing great. Look at this. Look at our, our holdings. We're pretty strong in Europe. We're, we're slowly eating into Central Europe. And we got... Look at this bad boy here. Although I don't like what's going on with uh, England. But look at this bad boy here. Um, as well as our... South African holdings. Oh, yeah. Good thing I put that extra army there. Probably still would have won, but... Nice. Won that. Fantastic. We'll put you back over here. So these two are about to core. Who's next on the uprising list? Castilian Patriots. Where the hell are they? That sucks. Um, Castilian Patriots are in Palermo and Messina. Oh, Oran. Oh, there's no way I'm getting anybody to Oran in time. I can try, though. You, my friend, go to Oran. 
And can I build more troops? I can, another 15 troops, in fact. And we're gonna do that. We're gonna get a 525, which is 12,000. Um, constructed right away. I wonder how much of this is armies rebuilding, recharging. It's a good question. God, this I'd like these cores to finish, please. We also have Algerian patriots. They will rise up in lag in a bunch of places. Damn Algerian patriots. These cores though are gonna be good done in a minute. 19th of April. Okay, four months. You're gonna convert this province. February, so in a year. You're going to convert this province in a month. So that's good. That will get a little bit rid of the uh, reformed problem. Is there a reduce overextension? Hell yeah, let's do that. Bad rewards, but let's do it. Where the hell? Oh, come on, Sweden. This is against Norway and New Norway. Um, Muscovy and the Hansa would join the war. All right, let's do it. What I'd like to do immediately is get this army up to here. To take care of New Norway. Is this a new army that's forming? It is, okay. Conversion successful. Beautiful. St. Galan has converted. Um, Waldstadt can convert next. God damn you. They got 40,000 dudes. What are you thinking? You're expecting me to come up there and fight these battles for you? Bet you you are. France is still involved in that other war. Interesting. Okay, we've cored these provinces, which has greatly reduced our overextension. That's good. Oh, and I got these ships built. Also good. Please go protect trade anywhere that's good, effectively. Chesapeake, Caribbean. Um, I'm going to have you go to Panama to protect trade. I want you, my friend... My friend, oh friend, to come down here. Look at you, 34,000 dudes. Thirty-four thousand dudes. That is good for us. No one rests really there, that's fine. No unrest here. Is that due to... Oh, I have a huge war exhaustion. Let's reduce our war exhaustion. Got the Diplo points to spend, so let's just get it to zero. That will actually reduce our unrest as well. Didn't even realize I didn't have the war exhaustion. Um, so let's bring... Why can I not get there? Of course, because Lorraine is not giving us military access. You won't give me military access even though you have personal union with France. France loves us. The Hansa do not. No one's going to give me military access, so I can't help you up there, guys. I'm stuck down here. Here's my 12,000 men. I can build four more. Which I probably will do. Algerian rebels are 8.7 years away from doing their shiz. So I'm only going to take um, about uh, 15,000 maybe of these guys. Six. Six. And then two cavalry. Select this unit. This unit is 14,000. Yeah, so you're going to get on the boats. The reason I'm leaving the remaining units here... I'll take the inflation. The reason I'm leaving the remaining 14,000 here 
is to, um... Oh, I forgot I still have these 5,000 D-bags over here. Uh... Is to... Ensure that I have the right number of people on both areas so they can't just come and try to siege all this. I am gonna unsiege this bullshit after, since it's taking so goddamn long. Yeah, so I thought it's still one regiment per per troop. Spanish peasants are putting up a surprisingly good fight. Good. All right. So it shouldn't take too long to unsiege this. To be safe, I'm gonna bring this army, this fleet, back down here. Cool. Can't help you guys. I mean, I realize the bulk of the war is going to be going on up here in actual Norway. But yeah, I can't do shit. Apparently, Austria is our ally in this war. Oh, they are. Unexpected. I believe we would all agree this is an unexpected um, alliance. Algerian peasants are getting closer to rising up. Oh, one of my colonies is self-sustaining. Am I missing a colony? Um, I really need to core Munich here first. All right, cool. So go pick these guys up for me. But yeah, I really need to core Munich before I upgrade. Even though it would be really nice to get this idea. Um, we're going to wait. We are going to wait. I, oh, I need to explore over here to colonize as well. So that's good to know. Come on, Doc. You get on the boats. Get a leader, please. How about this guy? Congratulations. Come on down. It's nice being in a war where we are the clear advantage. I mean, we had a pretty good advantage in this other war, but partly because France decided they wanted to get in the war. Um, I am, ooh, 100 military power? Or one prestige? We have three prestige. Clearly, we're going to take the military power. Can we um, get to next military tech? Soon. Cool, Waldstadt has uh, ended their thing. Let's convert Constance back. We've converted Muchin. Can we core them now? We can. It only costs 490 points. That's a nice little bonus. And then we will core Mem Mem again. Mem Mem again. We can also build four more units. We will do that as well. Um, one, two, three. And this time I will build one unit of cavalry. So that will make this a seven, three, six. That's a pretty good little army, I would say. Hello. Hello, my 13,000 little dudes. What if I have you board? Oh, no. First, I need you to come up here and see what's going on over here. As we have much of the southern uh, United States in... The current southern United States in our uh, allegiance. Oh, you have no allies anymore. I'm totally crushing you in a war soon as well. Um... Sweet national unrest minus three. That's fantastic. National unrest minus three is absolutely fantastic. So we're going to enter this area so I can um, expand into it. New Spain is expanding westward into the, the Great Plains areas. They've taken California. Of course they have. We keep expanding westward into the um, Central American area, or the Central North American areas. Okay, beautiful. Send a colonist. This province is landlocked and not adjacent to any of our fully developed... Wait, it's adjacent to Kentucky. What? What? 
I don't get it. Is this not actually adjacent to Kentucky? I can send a guy here. I'm kind of confused. I don't get why I couldn't go here. Weird. Well, I'm going to come and uh, attack you. Is Newfoundland in a, in a war against... Uh... Oh, they're in this war too. Alright, come on down. Or they're in a separate war, I should say. But yeah, we're going to siege all the stuff up there. Our colonies become self-sustaining. Fantastic. And then we're going to colonize this last little bit of piece of land here as well to help out establish our um, our awesomeness. Cool. God, I keep clicking way too far east in Europe. All right, so we've effectively recovered from the sort of cluster F that came about um, due to the the war that we won, but, it, you know, it was kind of crazy. It was a crazy war. France is at war with Burgundy, Ulm, and Brandenburg. Is that not correct? Yeah. So England's in this war as well. This war is not going well for Norway. It is not going well for Norway. All right, um, we're in the wrong town. Get on the boat, please. And then let's uh, come on down. Yeah, we want to start sieging some of this stuff to deny um, England's ability to expand here. That's mainly why we're coming up here. Okay, my missionaries are about to finish their job. That's also fantastic. What about rebel, rebels, rebels? Only one rebel faction, and it's uh, about to no longer exist. All right, sweet. Oh, we can upgrade our military troops to level 24. That's good. Don't know. Actually, should have checked what I was going to gain, but whatever. It worked out. Um, let's immediately spend our papal influence to possibly become the pope. What happened to your army? Did you get crushed? Crazy. Yeah, they're upset with us, obviously. These guys are upset with us. These guys are outraged by us because we took land, obviously. Love to remove these provinces from the HRE. Nobody showed up with an army here yet. That's what I've been paying attention for. Um, we'll just gain the points. Um, transport. Everyone get off the boats, please. So yeah, we're going to uh, attack some, some stuff here. We're still 443. Love to be more than 443. Can I get you? 2nd of June, 31st of May. I can get you. I got a crossing penalty. I should revoke that diplomat, but whatever. All right, um, detach a siege here. 13 colonies, Newfoundland. All right, um, cool. Detach a siege there. We're going to deny them some of the better territories, I would say. Detach a siege there. Don't need to force march. It's okay if we can't actually siege this province, even though we can. It would have been okay if we couldn't, because it would have forced, um, forces these guys to, even if they come and siege, we are the siege leader, last I checked. So, so that is all a-okay. Wow, France still has roads over here, which I gave them, like, a million wars ago. Fantastic. So yeah, this is going really good. Once the autonomy in these places starts going way down, um, they're at minus 23%, although a lot of that's the recent uprising penalty. But, um... Um... 
Let's uh, decrease autonomy here. And the reason I did that is because one, it's not affecting us, and two, it should give us a nice little boost. Give us an extra dude. It will just boost this in general. I should be looking at spending money again. Um, I built a, a mint somewhere. Yeah, let's get a stock exchange going there. Um, let's get these built. Anybody want these bad boys built? Of course you do. You and you. That's fine. Nobody else has any of the good stuff, it looks like. Town hall. Yeah, you can get a town hall going. Unique buildings. A march doesn't really help me. Alright, cool. That's good. Oh, we should end the episode here. So I thank you guys very much for watching. If you're wondering when I go, oh, we should end the episode here. I look over at a clock and I see that I've been running too long. <laughs> um, but that all being said, though, I thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. We are doing great. This war is going great. And uh, we should, um, we might not get anything, but our allies might get some stuff. And that would be good. But with that all being said, I thank you very much for watching. And I will see you all next time.